Good morning. Almost 100 degrees. It's going to get there in a minute. This was after the fact. Got down to 43 again. Let's open her up. It's humid in here. Everything's looking good. All right, let's get it, guys. guys I'm gonna go ahead and button up the bottom here today it's gonna freeze tonight so I found a good warm spot during the day to open her up and get her done we're just gonna use some sand some lovely sand and some play sand it's gonna work good Still looking good. Basically all we're doing here guys is the bottom has a couple air gaps so we're filling it with sand. Sand should be heavy enough to stop any breeze coming through. And then on top of that I'm going to place some grass uh, until we can get the brick floor in. Not sure if we'll get that done this year. So just spill that sand in the gaps, close up any holes. Guys, 
guys. Very simple. Practical. strawberry and that will probably be all for the season we'll see if the spinach doesn't look like it's going to do much here in the next week or so
that's all guys. Outside, see some holes. Let's tape them up. This thing's got to be airtight. It's just basically a skin, and the laws of thermodynamics are working against us. When it's 30 degrees outside, you're just stopping the air movement in, but you can't keep that 30 degrees out for long. So you might need to go from a passive to an active situation in that case. Here we got some special tape just for plastic. It can go up to high temperatures and it can go down to negative 10 degrees. We don't get that here in zone 7. We can get into the negatives but it's rare. It doesn't last long. So, you might be panicked about getting a hole, but don't worry, it's not a big deal. Get you some of this special tape. And go ahead and patch it up. Bam, like brand new. that one hole that I said we'd get another bag of sand for. Looks like the plastic's ripped here too. Not a big deal. Get you some tape. Go ahead and patch it right up. That one's not like brand new, but we'll keep an eye on it. Not a big deal. This air gap's actually been working in our favor when it's getting up to 80, 90 degrees. Inside's almost 110. This air gap was kind of a release, pressure release valve, if you will. But we're going into winter now. We don't need that anymore. So go ahead and just plug those holes up. Seal this greenhouse up. Got to keep that heat in, that cold out.
this one's a biggie. Probably end up driving that screw in after a while, but for now, get you some tape and patch it up just like new. to it. looking good the irrigation did come on this will probably be the last time I'm shutting them off I may leave it for another week but if I don't shut it off tonight I'll be shutting it off quick but look at that humidity on the inside of that plastic it's soaking on that bottom base that's actually gonna help hold the heat that water holds heat well humid air then you got a leak in this case it was the same temperature as outside so we're good see these holes aren't concerning because the seal is on this side right here Guys, 